And it's only recent that I've really, truly understood what that means. Um, your best effort. JP Dumini is a well-known international cricketer with a massive scoring average, who come from humble beginnings on the Cape Flats. Let's go find out how JP transitioned from international fame to humble servanthood. JP, one of the things I heard you say in an interview was that you were a lazy player before. Mm. Something happened, you learned a lesson, you became hardworking. Mm. And I want to ask you to tell us, in South Africa, what would a hard-working nation look like? I think we're a lazy nation. I think we want everything for nothing, currently. I think we need to become a hard-working nation. I want to hear, do you also think so or not? Mm. And then what would hard work look like? I, th I think that's a, a fair point, uh, that we are seeking for the easy way out most times. And I think if we had to identify with ourselves, we would easily identify with moments that we've taken that, well, I've certainly taken that route. So what do, what do I see as hard working? The best way I can describe it is waking up every day and giving your best effort. So I specifically use the word effort as opposed to as a as opposed to a success story. So what I mean by that is we've got to be very wary of defining that success story as a result as opposed to an effort. Because we can put in our best effort but not get the result, then do we do we, do we define that as a failure? Uh, so if we as a nation, in whatever you do, strive for giving our best effort every day, then I believe we would turn that around. Uh, and it's only recent that I've really, truly understood what that means. Um, your best effort. And because in a sporting context, we are so uh, hungry for the result and, and our identity somewhat is shaped by that result, we can lose focus on the effort. So that's why I would like to use those words very clearly. Yeah, that's hitting it on the head. I mean, I can't think of anything better to say there. <clears throat>